less than 24 hours after a life was claimed on Guam's roadways, two more people lost their lives in a three-car collision off of Alligata Road. Medical examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola conducted an autopsy on one of the victims today. Here's what happened. It happened early Saturday morning at around 2.15 a.m. near a known dangerous curb on Alligata Street. Guam Police Spokesman Officer A.J. Balahaja says a black-colored Nissan pickup was following a purple Honda Civic heading westbound. The Nissan pickup then attempted to pass the purple Civic by overtaking it, but as it did, it collided head-on with a black Nissan Xterra in the opposite lane. The impact was so powerful that the pickup truck went airborne and landed on top of the Purple Civic, according to police. As a result, the Purple Civic was pushed into the jungle area off of the roadway. In total, there were five passengers injured in the three vehicles. The two occupants of the Nissan truck, one female and one male, were taken to GRMC, where they were pronounced dead. The two passengers were identified by friends and family as Heinrich Tuhia Moruru and Nomar Narun. The victims inside of the black Nissan Xterra, a male and female, were taken to GMH, while the male operator of the Purple Civic was taken to GRMC. Medical examiner Dr. Aurelio Espinola, meanwhile, said the 26-year-old Maruru died of a basal skull fracture and broken neck. He also noted that the victim died on impact from the first collision. Dr. Espinola will be conducting an autopsy in the female victim tomorrow. The fatal crash comes just a little over 12 hours after another traffic-related fatality was reported on Route 3 in Dedido. That accident also involved three vehicles, in which an adult female later died. Officer Balahaja says Guam Highway Patrol continues to investigate both car accidents. Meanwhile, both GRMC and GMH could not provide the status of the remaining three victims.